thanks, guys. Um, so uh, a brief about myself, since I'm also helping to organize the session. I, I, I'm a computer vision guy. I try to organize the computer vision community in Boston with this gentleman right here. Uh, he's got a 1,000 person mailing list. And, uh, and I've got a second mailing list. In fact, that group is meeting tonight. So I won't be able to stay all the way to the end. It's too bad. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, if you're doing computer vision in AR, come talk to me. I love to discuss. I love to be helpful. I love to connect people. And uh, which brings us to tonight. So tonight, I want to talk about my newest company, Cyclops.io. We are a collaboration company. And we're very interested in trying to make fragmented teams work together effectively. And so if I rewind the clock, let me start by telling you my story, um, which around collaboration starts many years ago. But for this story, really starts a couple of years ago. About two years ago, I was talking to one of my friends, John, who had a 10-person startup. And, and he had two offices. I was really puzzled by this. Like, um, why would you want to have two offices? And how do you get people to work together effectively? It's so hard. And he said, no, no, you don't understand, Samson. First, you start out with four or five people in one city. And then it's just so hard to hire people that you just hire them wherever you can find them. And before you know it, you find a bunch of single people across the country. And then shortly after that, one of them finds a bunch of people. And before you know it, you have two offices. There's just nothing you can do about it. And it's like, but John, how do you work together effectively? And he's like, it's very, very hard. But you really have no choice. So this is the reality that we deal with. The problem is that recruiting talent in any one city is just so, so hard. And everybody is constantly connected. So you very, very quickly end up with fragmented teams across many locations, which gives us the challenge. How do they work together? We know that you can post data and like look at it when they're not working at the same time. But if you actually want the team to work together synchronously, how do you do that? So it turns out I've been involved in collaboration for a long time. In fact, my first company is Scalable Display Technologies. We made really big displays, lots of pixels. And uh, here's a couple of examples for collaboration solutions. Here you can see two folks at a really large electronic whiteboard. It, it's multiple projectors. But the, the key here is you know, they've got a pen. They can annotate right on top of their data. right? They can take snapshots of this thing. It's totally digital. It's awesome. Here's, a, here's another couple of people working together. You can see that the video is coming from uh, two different directions, uh, two different projectors, which is their specialty. But you get lots of pixels. You get large area. Everybody's in the same room. It's really easy to see. And you get this very large flow of information, which is awesome. Um, so if you have a large budget, you, know, you can buy one of these things. Um, for those of us who don't have large budgets, especially with fragmented teams, this doesn't work as well. And so we end up in this new reality in this challenge if we have to paradigm shift from everybody's in the same room to everybody is potentially remote. The question becomes, how do we enable the same sort of high bandwidth collaboration? How do we have teams work together? You don't want to give up that effectiveness of everybody in the same room, but you want to still have the same sorts of advantages to people that are not in the same room. And so we set up to do this. And, um, the first answer we talk to people is they're like, oh, yeah, we use video conferencing. And so I, I just want a show of hands here. I, and I'll, I'll do the extreme case. How many of you guys in the room use video conferencing and hate it? Let's see a show of hands. I think that's about half the room. How many of you love video conferencing? All right, like two. So that, that just gives you a sense. There's just so many things about video conferencing that people hate. On its own, it's just audio and video. In fact, there are a lot of solutions. And pretty much, they're all the same. I hear you. You hear me. I see you. I see me. It's not about getting work done. It's about talking about getting work done. So that's what we wanted to change. And our, uh, uh, what we set out to do was to say, you know what? We're smart guys. We can introduce machine vision, machine learning, and start making these things work very well. So let me give you an example. Um, 
a lot of folks in, uh, uh, who are doing product management, uh, who are engineers, um, uh, even marketing folks, they're big whiteboarders. Why? It's this nice, large area. It's easy to see in the room. It's easy to use. You know, I, I, I'm sorry to say this as a technical guy, but you know, it doesn't break, right? When, when your whiteboard breaks, you throw away the marker and pick it up, right? It's so simple, everybody understands it. Now, if you try and take that and try and move it into a video conference, well, just look at this. This is, this is Hangout pointed at a whiteboard. Like, you can barely read this, and it's certainly not, not, not legible. And it's hard to make that out, though if you stare long enough, you can. But add a little bit of machine vision, and magic happens. Right? Suddenly, the text is super visible. Suddenly, that blurry red text is very easy to make out. So let me take you through an example of this. And let's see if I can click. Perfect. All right. So this is myself collaborating with one of my colleagues. He's going to show you a before and after of his whiteboard. And what you're going to see is it's okay. not just that we can see the whiteboard, but we're trying to make the experience really valuable. You can see my mouse moving around. So if I want to actually tell him what I'm pointing at, it's no problem. I can add annotations. He can add text. Suddenly, we've taken a simple whiteboard and turned it into a collaboration experience. And then most of all, when we're done, we can take a snapshot of this thing. It's the final result. And right, simply and easily, we can email it out. Or if you're me, you really want to post it to your data backend, which for us is Slack. So if you will, you can take this experience, which doesn't really work today, and turn it into this collaborative experience. Uh, and that's what our company is all about. So what I'm going to show you today, that's one experience. I'm going to show you a second experience. And really what we're about is taking machine vision and machine learning and really turning video conferencing into a productive tool. So let's go uh, play back audio transcription. So here my colleague is going to add uh, audio transcription to the room. And one of the problems we hear about commonly is we've got 8, 10 people on the call. Um, and you just can't hear people so on the other end. So this is the audio transcription bot. And what you can see is with a little bit of machine learning, recognition. suddenly you can actually, if you can't hear, we only have one person here. But if you have 8, 10 people and it's hard, suddenly it's fairly easy. And also, if you're trying to do meeting oh, notes yeah. at the end, um, this stuff is spectacular. right? It just goes right into Slack. Uh, you want to go well, back you asked. And Remember what was talking about? It is actually about 70% really to 80% accurate, uh, depending on the environmental conditions. Yeah. Uh, usually, if you have a headset on, it works pretty well. Yeah. So let me talk a little bit about Cyclops.io and, and start wrapping up. So first, please go try it out. Um, we've been uh, really slowly pushing it out the door, and uh, we've been getting some great response. And what we're really, really concerned about, what we really focus on is the experience. So we talk to a lot of users. We get a lot of feedback. One of the biggest feedback we get on video conferencing is the getting started part. So we've actually spent a lot of time. right? It's not machine vision. It's not machine learning. But unless your product uh, works really seamlessly and elegantly, it's really tough to use. So we have no downloads, no logins. You just point your web browser. It's great. One click to collaborate. Right, just one click. So come, try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, we're, we're growing pretty fast right now, so it's, uh, it's exciting times for us. So just to rewind, we're aiming to make a great experience for collaboration remotely. And what I've shown you today is we've taken two examples. We've added machine vision. We've added machine learning. We've augmented. you know. A very simple experience, right? Audio and video is actually incredibly rich. If you can extract the appropriate information and augment it, suddenly you get something really exciting. And you can make people more productive. Thank you.